Hello, and welcome to Eye on the Eagle. Students from both high schools, Airport and BC, will be able to take classes in specialized career and technical focus courses. Many of these programs lead to immediate certification and job placement upon graduation. We already offer a great deal of career ready programs. The new school is scheduled to open fall of 2018 and will offer even more programs including culinary arts, electricity, barbering, and law and public safety. about the new programs and the new school. We stopped in at BC this past Monday to talk carpentry and construction with Mr. Shumpert. Hello, I'm Callie Richburg here at BC High School with Mr. Kenny Shumpert to discuss the carpentry program. As you know, Lexington 2 is building the new Lexington 2 Innovation Center. This will help benefit airport and BC students. So what got you into teaching construction? Well, I come from a construction family. My father was a plumber. Um, my uncle was an electrician. Friends of ours uh, were house framers. And just family tradition is the thing that really brought me into it. Well, the construction students here, will they be able to go into work straight after high school or do they have to go to college? Uh, no, when, when they leave here, we have them prepared for an entry or above level. Uh, when they get into the construction field, uh, these students can go right into the construction field and begin work. Do you feel like the construction, like all the construction going on, do you feel like it's growing because of the high school program? The construction is not easy. It, it's difficult. There's a lot of money out there to be made, but you have to work. It's not sitting behind the desk at a computer in a climate controlled office. You're working, but you're outdoors, you're using your hands, and, and, and it's physical work but there's a lot of money and a lot of jobs out there if you're willing to go out there and put the effort in. Are you excited for your new shop in the Lexington 2 Center? I am. I, I've been in Lexington 2 for, uh, this will be my 11th or 12th year, I'm too old to remember, but it's been a while and having the new facility come in I think is going to be great for Lexington School District 2, not only for me but for the whole district yeah. itself. Were you able to have any input on what it will look like? They really did. We were able to look at the plans. We were able to share ideas. We had a lot of input on it, which was very, very nice to get the input from us for a building that we will be working in. So yes, we did. How many years are students typically in the construction program? Three years. And uh, they're sophomores, juniors, and seniors. Some students go one, some go two, depending on when they're able to get into class. But the preference is for a three-year program of ends when they're a sophomore to their senior. What kinds of things does your construction program do for the district and your community? Um, we do a lot. Our level three students in our construction is built in doing things for our faculty and staff within the district of Lexington too. Did you by any chance build our new stuff? Yes, we did. I uh, talked with uh, Miss Raymer from Airport and she sent us a set of plans and we furnished the material. So yes, we built the new stand that y'all will be sitting behind using, yes. It's Thank you very much. Thank y'all for coming. Airport has benefited from many upgrades to our facilities. Upon return to school this year, we saw fresh paint, no more old lockers, a new field house, new windows and blinds in many areas, six new tennis courts, awnings, and many other renovations. One specific area that was completely gutted and rebuilt from scratch is the new drama lab. Here's Daniela and Callie with a look at the new space. There's a new drama classroom in room 301 
and it looks great. The classroom has been completely remodeled, and we hope that these improvements will help Ms. Stilwell in the drama program in the future. How do you feel about the new classroom? The new classroom is great. It's nice and big, so everyone has space to work. How has this affected the way you learn in class? Well, it gives everyone a chance to get together and figure out their scenes, their lines, and meet new people. It's perfect. The class practices diligently in the auditorium in preparation for this semester. We can't wait to see what else is in store for the drama program. Wow, thank you Danielle and Callie. We know that Miss Stillwell is thrilled. Airport and BC were recently granted a new privilege by our cool school board. Here's Trey with the scoop. Five, four, three, two, one, zero, ignition, lift off. This year, Airport High has been lucky enough to gain the privilege of senior release at lunch. This idea came to be when Airport and BC student governments came together to discuss bettering both our schools. Thanks, Trey. Ms. Cook and Ms. Payne do a lot of reading in their free time. They have come across some great ideas to benefit our media center. Here's our reporter, JT, and our tester, Garrett, with a look at the new read and riding bikes. Good morning, Eagles. I'm JT McLemore on the Eye on the Eagle News, here with Ms. Cook. What was the idea behind the Read and Ride project? Well, you know, we have this great space up here, these awesome windows, and we thought, you know, what would be a cool way to utilize this space up here? We know that there are a lot of students who have told us, you know, it's not that I don't necessarily like to read, but sometimes it's just hard for me to sit still while I do it. So we thought, you know, this is a great way to give kids who need more uh, movement while they're trying to read the opportunity to do that. We also know that research says the healthier you are, the less likely you are to be sick. So that means, you know, you're not going to be away from school because you're not feeling well. So we just felt like it was a creative way to kind of cover several bases. Who came up with this idea? Um, I had seen some things um, on Twitter and some other places about similar programs. And so Ms. Payne and I talked and we got with our administration and we decided to give it a try. Thanks, JT and Garrett. Student government hosted the first of three blood drives for the school yesterday. Please remember that you can receive a cord to wear at graduation if you donate all three times your senior year. Thanks so much for the great participation we had yesterday. So is this your first time giving blood? Uh, yeah, this is my first time giving blood. Kind of, kind of weird. So how, how do you feel about it? And are you excited? Are you? What are you feeling right now before you give blood? Um, I'm excited and a little nervous. You know, I got that butterflies in my stomach kind of feeling. It's gonna be great though. All right. Blood. So, Ms. Dimler, is this your first time giving blood? You know, it's not. Um, I've been giving blood for probably, oh gosh, 10 years in now. Yep. Alright. Well, are you excited to be no, doing it? I'm not. Every time I go to give blood, I was sharing with Madison over there that I work myself up and get so nervous because I hate needles. However, it's one of those things where with Hurricane Harvey and Maria, you see all these hurricanes now, but you watch these catastrophes and realize, wow, you know, you have to do it. And um, it is just something I've always been afraid of needles, and I always feel like I'm going to faint, but it never happens. And I just take a deep breath, and the staff is so great. I mean, they get you through it, and they're so wonderful. So it's not bad. Well, um, you brought up Hurricane Harvey and stuff like that, so. Do you know anybody who was affected by that? You know, my family, I have extended family in Texas, um, but they live in the Dallas area, so they were not hit or affected. But the gas ran out in Dallas, and um, so they had some of them have to take off work as well, and um, because of that, but I don't know anyone personally that was in that area in Houston. Okay. But you know, you feel like you do, because you know there's schools, and you know there's administrators and there's students that, pretty much lost their school, so um, 
you know, you kind of feel like you are connected somehow, somewhere. All right. Well, thank you. You're so welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Airport High's fishing team kicks off the season on Monday, September 18th at 6 p.m. The meeting will be held in room 314 at Fulmer Middle School. You must have a team of two students, an adult captain, and a boat. The cost per team is $150. For more information, contact Ms. Kaufman. Airport is filled with awesome club opportunities, culture arts, fine arts, and many different sports teams. Please contact Ms. Reamer if your club or team would like to be showcased on our news. Our tennis team defeated Irma last night. Great job, ladies. We've had a pretty successful season. This past week, they lost to Aiken, but the next day they came back and beat White Null. Victoria serves it up. Gracie gets a kill. Caitlin tips it over. Caitlin pushes the overpass back, causing Aiken to dive down. That was a nice vlog from Caitlin Amick. And a good hustle from Oliveira, Allie Spire. Gracie serves it up, and it's an ace. Kalia gets a nice swing to the back right corner. We wish the Lady Eagles luck on the rest of their season. The cross country team competed in two races this week. On Saturday, they ran in the Lake Murray Invitational, and on Tuesday, in a 10 team race at Gilbert. The team placed fifth overall at Gilbert and were led by Noah Walton in third place. Close behind was Bryce Evans, Ben Smith, Will Corley, Chase Smith, Peyton Owens, and Aiden Ratcliffe. Mm -hmm. The football team had their first sweet victory over OW last Friday. We had incredible fan support in the student section. Man, our fans got really creative wearing the construction hats and the vests because we were under construction for a win. This is our first victory and there will be many more to come. Please come out again tonight and cheer on the Eagles. The theme is Pirate. The kick is up and it's good. Nielsen on the run, back to the pass. Oh, and he's taken down. Coming at airport. This week is a big deal. There will be lots of activities, the big game, a new homecoming queen, and a block party. Please remember that next Friday we will be having a food fest and all the proceeds will go to our elite event program. Paint up will start in Law A at 6 30. Have a great spirit week. Here's Noah and Adam with a tribute to Steve Irwin. Come to the Airport High School Homecoming Game. It starts on September 29th at 7.30 at the football field. Be sure to vote for your homecoming queen.
Good morning everyone, I'm Jerry Jones here with Billy and we about to go investigate Airport High School. I've been noticing that there's a crocky in there and we about to go get it mate. You ready? Let's do it. We gotta sneak up on Billy. I think I think he's right there. Yeah, he's right there. We gotta grab him right by the head. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, we got him, mate. We got him. Boy, come look at him. Come look at him. Look, look at that bloody eyes right there. They look at you for too long. They might eat you alive. Oh, boy. Be safe and have a great weekend, Eagles. See you next week.